Hello and welcome back to Point to Play Games for some more Gibbos, a Cthulhu adventure. Last time we were around, we played as Dawn Archetype, uh, the detective, and managed to finally, you know, get all the information we needed from the cultist's place that we were captured at, as well as escape. Cut then back to Buzz, having just reached Fish, uh, Fishmouth, and now we have to go find that fish... Whatever his name is is currently escaping me, but the guy that's somewhere around here that is probably going to look like a fish because that's what fish myth is about. It's about the fact that they're part fish. Ah, <sighs> Lovecraft. Anyways, we just got here, so let's start clicking around and see what's going on. We're closed. We're closed. It's fine where it's at. It says, uh, Fishmouth Tourist Board, Tourist Information. Sounds useful, I guess. I'm sure it would be if we could make our way in there. So we have a thug, Fishmouth Citizens. Let's see where else we can... We have a purple, green light, a couple things like that. Where on earth is Kitty going? Kitty? That's an interesting place to decide to sit, but she is a cat. Okay, so we'll uh, let's first talk to these uh, shady-looking individuals over here. Oh, actually, it extends. In that case, we'll go left to right. It's a kid and her dog staring down at the water. Is that like a milk carton? Kids, man, not a care in the world. Definitely looks like they have a milk carton. I'm afraid talking to little kids is on you while we're on this quest. Fine. Let's talk to the child. Hey, kid. Good evening, sir. I'm Buzz. What's your name? I'm Annie. Annie Pole. This is my doggy woggy Tad. Nice to meet you, Annie and Tadpole. Wow, what a joke. Uh, let me see. So what you up to? So what you up to? Just waiting for my cousin. She was supposed to show up a half an hour ago. It's not like her to be this late. What's your cousin's name? What's your cousin's name? Priscilla. Whoa, really? You, you know her? Maybe. Well, uh, hope she shows up real soon. Yeah, me too. I hope everything's all right. Great. It's great to know that the relatively normal child is a cousin of the one that is literally the most terrifying being on this planet. Uh, who stares and breaks through the fourth wall looking directly at us while we play this game. Uh, but uh, more importantly, hey, uh, Annie, what you drinking? What are you drinking there, Annie? Dolphin's milk. It's really good for you, very nutritious. Yeah, uh, I bet it is. Dolphin's milk? Oof. Hey, Annie, think you could spare some of that dolphin milk? Mmm, I would, but I might need to share it with Tad a bit later. See, he's really hungry, and my cousin's running really, really late. Oh, poor Tad. Poor Tad. So he likes milk, huh? Not really. He prefers a sandwich. But he'll have to settle for milk, because it's all I've got. Got it. Amazing. So we have to somehow get her a sandwich, I guess, but let's ask about Tadpole. Tadpole. Jesus. Ah, <sighs> the jokes in this game are just so great. Anyways, let's talk about the dog. Is uh, everything okay with Tad? What do you mean? Well, his eyes are, uh... Wide apart? Yeah, he just sees more that way. He sometimes misses things coming straight at him, but I keep an eye out for them. That's nice of you. <laughs> Amazing, well, so essentially the dog is also part fish. Leave it to this place. Wow. All right. See ya, Annie. Later, Buzz. All right, let's go uh, check out this uh, purple light door. There is an intense purple light shining through the window in this door. I kind of like purple. Makes for a very moody vibe. I can see why they went for it. Well, I mean, that was like a discussion of game design right there. Other than that, it's a door. She doesn't come with... No. She doesn't lockpick. Hello? Go away. But maybe I have a very important message to deliver. Go away. <sighs> Creepy. 
creepy. Alright, let's look at the buildings, I guess, real quick. Moldy old buildings receding into darkness. And everything smells horribly of fish and fish things. Ugh. Boy, am I glad to be here in Fishmouth. Not really. <laughs> I figure I don't think anyone would ever be happy to be in uh, Fishmouth. I don't think she has an opinion. Uh, no. Well, fine then. I guess the green doors it is. Green light shining through this particular door's window. I don't know what's going on in there, but it's intensely green. You'd probably need protection glasses in there. <laughs> Hello? Go away. Oh, but you see, I'm just interested in local culture and... Go away. Okay. I see. All right. Sounds like no one at all wants to talk to us ever. Uh, hey, uh, Citizens Br Brigade? I, I'm sorry. Are they like the Home Guard or something like that? Like A, a couple of Fishmuthians. Looks like they're guarding that archway there. They look very, uh, iconic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm happily surrendering the pleasure of talking to that couple to you. Oh, well, thanks, Kitty. All right. Hey, folks. Mind if I squeeze through? We don't mind or nothing, stranger. We just strongly discourage it. Strongly discourage it? Uh, okay, I can respect that. So, can you let me through anyway? We ain't shopping you. We just strongly discouraging you. Well, it's easy, really. Each one of you just has to take one step, no, half a step, in the opposite direction, and we're all happy. We ain't stopping you, stranger, but we ain't moving either. Ball Holmstein, Jesus. So, yeah, apparently this is an extremely interesting way of them saying, um, yeah, uh, screw off. Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Buzz Kerwin, and I'm a tourist here in this beautiful seaside town of yours. Martha. Martha Webfoot. Liz, here's my husband, Silas. We's the Fishmouth Citizens Brigade. Proud volunteers. Just watching over things and making sure the festival gonna go smooth. That's our job now. Let me see the festival. The festival? That ain't got nothing to do with you or your kind. Yeah, that's why we strongly discouraging you from entering Fishmouth. But I'm a participant. Really? Judging by your accent, I would have said Eastern Orthodox. No, I mean I'm part of the fest. Then you're oh, either sorry. a pilgrim or you're one of them entertainers. Pilgrim you ain't because you ain't got the garb and you sure don't smell like one. So that'll make you an entertainer. Let's see that entertainer license. Wow. Look behind you three like a toad. Is there anything I can do? All right, uh, it wasn't ready. It wasn't ready. They said just go in without it. Who said that? The um the 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 the, the committee. No license, no entry. All right, apparently we're gonna have to find a license. <laughs> real artists don't need licenses. Well then, real artists ain't getting any deeper inside Fishmouth. Is there anything I can do to convince you to let me through? Boy, you've really given up on trying anything creative like, ain't you? We ain't letting you in without a license. Now, Silas, don't be talking nonsense. We ain't stopping anyone here. Oh, uh, that's right, Martha. Oh, he's just... Strongly discouraging. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, last ditch effort, right? Look behind you, a three-legged toad. <laughs> well, that must be Skippy. Little Bartholomew Liverwort's pair. Cute little fella, bouncing all over the place. Use that third leg as a kickstand. Seen it with my own eyes. Oh, brother. Jesus. I'll be back. We'll be here. All right, well, Looks like our next option is to talk to this thug and maybe go... Can we even go? I guess we can only talk to this thug. Oh, 
Oh, we can go in there. Oh, they're open now. All right, well, let's talk to the thug first. It's a thuggish looking big guy smoking a horribly stinky cigarette. I like how we decided to walk further away. Like, we couldn't just look at him while we were near him. We had to, like, retreat to a safe distance just in case he came at us. I'm not sure I want to mess with this particular local. I don't think we can take him, Buzz. No kidding. Hello there, sir. Buzz? Off. Actually, funny thing about that. I mean it, out-of-towner. Uh, okay. Man, people hate him. This is, this is very, like, you know, this ain't cool, man. All right, let's go in since it's the only place we can go. Oh, whoops. Oh, thank God. And I was worried we would have a normal-looking clerk to talk to. There are fl magnets, floppy disks, t-shirts, coffee mugs, multi-tool-looking things, a disturbing paintings, and a liquor bottle in the corner. A cornucopia of... You should not be using words you don't know the meaning of. <sighs> a lot of creepy paintings, mostly fishing related. <laughs> I just love when, uh... Kite, just... Kitty, Kitty, I don't know why I say it like it's like... Some sort of... Foreign name. But Kitty sure does like to, uh... Chime in randomly. Fisherman, tentacles, barnacles, and greenish people? Okay. God, Fishmouth. Not her type of art. I can agree. Not my type of art. I also agree. It's a multi-tool looking thing. They've always intimidated me. Alright, so we can click on all these things in a second, I would hope. Unless we suddenly get, I don't know, attacked. Uh, so let's talk to this clerk. Or it's the clerk interact. in charge of this tourist info point. He looks, uh, sophisticated. I'll leave you the pleasure of talking to him. Alright, so yeah, apparently Kit uh, Kitty isn't going to do anything for us right now. Hello. Good evening, sir, and welcome to our info point. My name's William LQPW Watersworth, and I'm an official representative of the Fishmouth Tourist Board. What can I do for you today, sir? Uh, let's start with this. Nice evening we're having, huh? Nice is not a notion commonly associated with Fishmouth. While the evening, per se, with its undeniable charm and pleasant temperature would qualify as nice, we are in Fishmouth. Therefore, I submit that it's a horrendous evening. Okay. This is the least convincing tourist checkpoint person I've ever seen. He really makes it fe me feel like I don't want to go in here at all. I'm here to visit Fishmouth for a while. If I may say so, sir. That is a horrible idea. Yeah, I thought I'd... Well, what? Did you just say horrible idea? Why, of course. Fishmouth is a run-down, rotting, almost abandoned mockery of a town. Nothing to visit, the people are anything but hospitable, and we're really not accepting of strangers during this particular time of year. I thought you represented the Fishmouth Tourist Board. I do. You're a tourist, correct? Am I not informing you, sir? I do not see how this is confusing. Well, um, let me see. You said you're not accepting of strangers this particular time of year. Are you more accepting at other times? No, not really. No. I mean, could you imagine if tourist boards or like tourist checkpoints were actually like this? Just like, yeah, no, you could, uh, you could come here, but it's crap. It's terrible here. There's no reason to visit. Please go away. Like, this is, <laughs> this would, this would do so well in, in the real world. Like, just, just, just go. You don't need to be here. It's a horrible place. Our things are overpriced and our food tastes bad. Like, but... Either way, we must persevere because we have one reason and one reason only to be here, and that's to get our cat to shut up. So, let's go. Is it me, or are you going out of your way to drive people away from Fishmouth? Oh, we only have the tourist's best interest at heart. The best thing a tourist can do in Fishmouth is not be one. 
be one what? A tourist in Fishmouth. Again, at least they're honest. Uh, let me see. Which part of Fishmouth do you think is the absolute most repugnant to a visitor? That's got to be this plaza here we're situated in for sure. Really? What about the rest of the town? Oh, just as horrible. No, even more horrible. Thanks for clearing that up. Wow. Um, let me see. Say, uh, you've got these uh, welcoming gifts here? Correct, Father. Going away gifts. Which we do encourage we do at your earliest convenience. Yeah, what's an offer? You may choose between five options, sir. A jolly good fridge magnet with the inscription, Fish with. Not even once. A leather T-shaped shirt that says, uh, I went to fish with and all I got was out of there real fast. Horrible grammar, I know. A coffee mug reading, Fish with. Yeah. A fish with tourist attractions interactive guide on floppy disk. There's really nothing to see, so no point in wasting DVDs on it. And finally, by far the most popular choice, the Fishmouth Multi-Tool. Opens anything, provides hints, helps solve puzzles, coerces people to reveal passwords, requires ceremony, shaving of head, stripping down to underwear, slight change of religion, a six month long vow of silence, and a little blood sacrifice. Very useful tool. Which, which one of the five shall it be, sir? I just can't decide yet. There's so many options. I, uh, I can't decide yet. Very well, sir. Do return upon having chosen wisely. That's a promise. Do you know what's going to be funny? It's probably not going to be the multi-tool, which sounds like the most unusual, but at the same time, the most useful of options. Um, let's uh, go with this. Mr. Watersworth, I will come clean. I am one of the entertainers. What is this you speak of, sir? I don't understand. <laughs> the festival. The festival, Mr. Watersworth? Is this where I pick up my official entertainer license? You are very, very, very early, Mr... Yes, uh, I wanted to get a feel of the place before my performance. It's a habit of mine. Don't worry, I've arranged for my stay in advance. Very well, sir. What type of entertainment should I look under? I play the loot. I can cons disperse an audience in less than 30 seconds. I'm around magician. I have this talking cat. I'm a stand-up comedian. Oh, I yes. have this talking cat. All right, let me see here. Mr. Tornston and his horrible singing beast, is it? Sure is. Oh, no, it isn't. Well, what do you know? It does speak. Oh, do make it sing, Mr. Tornston. It's time to stop being so modest, kid, eh? The public wants you. Uh, besides, I think Mr. Watersworth needs to be convinced of your singing abilities, lest he just uh, give some imposters our license. Quite right, Mr. Torson. We will talk about this, Mr. Tornston. What would you do with a fishman sailor? What would you do with a fishman sailor? What would you do with a fishman sailor early in the morning? That was... Something, indeed. Memorable, huh? To say the least, sir. Here's your license, Mr. Tornston. Enjoy your stay, and... I know, I know. Keep out of everybody's business. Have a great evening, Mr. Watersworth. Doubtful. Goodbye. That was awful. Kitty was so bad. I'm just gonna pick up this liquor. Bottle. Well, I won't just swipe the man's liquor from under his nose, but I doubt he'll be missing that label on the bottle, right? Okay. That could be useful later. Otherwise, we have all these, like, gifts, but I feel like we won't know which one we want until later. So with that, we can now come and go, though, from inside of Fishmouth. Mr. and Mrs. Webfoot, 
here's my entertainer's license. Huh. I'll be darned. Horrible. Hey. Oops. Didn't you say your name was Kirby or something? Uh, Tornston is my stage name. We just might be attending your show, Mr. Tornston. Welcome to Fishmouth. Keep yourself. And don't do no nosing around if you don't have to. Gotcha, Silas. See you folks around. Awesome. I guess. We've made it into fish. There it is. That's Finman's over there. I don't know, man. It's been all fun and games so far, but this place is giving me the serious creeps. Can't argue with that. It is truly just such a terrifying location. Oh, look, a sandwich. Oh, we'll be able to get that and give it to the other person. I'm sure somehow, but either way, this place is just so creepy. And the fact that we just don't recognize the fact that all of these people look like fish is truly, truly wonderful. But unfortunately, we're out of time for today, so thank you very much for joining me once again here at Point to Play Games. And remember, always make a point to play games. See you next time.